Honorable Chairman, sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak in this August House on the Union Budget. At the outset, I would like to congratulate. Sir, this is the first one. At the outset, I would like to congratulate the First Lady, Finance Minister, Srimati Nirmala Sitaramanji, for the presentation of her maiden budget on the government outstandingly for more than two hours without, in fact, without sipping a drop of water. We welcome the aspirations and the union, we welcome the aspirations and the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for restructuring and developing the concept of New India. And also, under his dynamic leadership, we are confident enough that our country will achieve $5 trillion economy. And also, we are proud that our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, has set up our great nation in the global, on the global pedestal. But, Chairman Sir, our people of Andhra Pradesh are completely disappointed with this union budget, Sir. Our people anxiously awaited but that there will be a favorable announcement from the Government of India and the Honorable Finance Minister. But we left with, with deep despair. Sir, I would like to, I would like to quote that promises are like clouds. When they are fulfilled, it touches our soul like rain. मैं ये हिंदी में भी बताना चाहता हूँ। ये वादे जो होते हैं, वो बादल जैसे होते हैं। ये वादे जो होते हैं, बादल जैसे होते हैं। और जब ये वादे निभाते हैं, तो बरसात के रूप में आते हैं। आजक्ष महोदय, मैं आपके माध्यम से केंद्र सरकार को विनम्रता पूर्वक से याद दिलाना चाहता हूँ। in the year 2014, the Prime Minister candidate Manyasri Narendra Modi ji, at the time of his election campaigning, he made a promise at the foothills of Lord Tirupati Balaji that bifurcated Andhra Pradesh will be given special category status when the NDA government comes to the power. But the promise yet to be fulfilled. Sir, these and the Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh Ji, made a promise on the floor of the Parliament that bifurcated Andhra Pradesh will be given special category status. And also, these and the BJP senior leader and now the Vice President of the country has demanded UPA government that 10 years of special category status to Andhra Pradesh, but none of the promises made by the honorable members was fulfilled and we left in vain and neglected. Therefore, therefore, the majority of United Andhra Pradesh, the majority people of United Andhra Pradesh opposed the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh. The people were wretched in a political foul play. Sir, for the past 70 years, AP is considered to be a very rich state as far as the agriculture sector is concerned. And therefore, the people of AP invested huge amounts and also the part of building the great Hyderabad, thinking that our investments would be safe, but all the infrastructures, industries, and IT companies went to Telangana state. Sir, the UPA government divided 
Andhra Pradesh unscientifically for their political gains and left us in lurch. Therefore, the NDA government also left AP in high and dry, sir. Even though our Honorable Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Redigaru supports the union government in every move of the Honorable Prime Minister. Sir, in this connection, we would like to talk on the budget maintained in the focus of infrastructural development. The vision on one nation, one grid for the electricity and similarly the plan for gas grids, water grids, highways and regional airports indeed ambitious and would be transformational in this impact. Sir, I welcome the decision to reduce the corporate tax 25% for the companies with a turnover of 400 crore. And also, sir, the proposal to improve the railway infrastructure through public-private partnership model was well advised and almost like 50 lakh crores of investment would be required over the years for this purpose, sir. And also we welcome the Bharat Mala with an investment of rupees 80,250 80, crores to build 1,200 1, kilometers of village roads, which was a good initiative, the transport and the maintenance of the government. Sir, and also the introduction of one crore loan for MSME would be a great relief to the small businesses, making easier accessibility of processing loans through single portal, sir. And therefore, the, sir, this is the first made in speech, sir. And moreover, our party didn't have much time to speak on the... Conclude the, 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 the the Finance Minister, the Honourable Finance Minister has proposed the further consolidation of the centres holding in PSU both in the financial and non-financial sectors, sir. And therefore, we also welcome the National Research Foundation and the, already the institutions of higher learning were set up in Andhra Pradesh under the AP Reorganisation Act. They are yet to have their own buildings and infrastructure and the funds are not flowing by the way of trickling drip by drip, sir. And, sir, the honourable member, our o Olympics, the shooter who won the silver medal, he was quoting that our economy was around the sixth largest in the country. But I would like to Mention, sir, the National Sports Education Board, government committed to expand Kelo India scheme, sir. In the year 2016 Olympics, India has achieved only two medals, sir, and ranked 64th in the position, sir. We don't want to take a dig on it, sir, because your government has come two years ago only at the time of Olympic season. But now I demand the government of India for this 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Do you have any roadmap of winning gold medals? Can India be in the top 10 position in this Olympics, sir? Therefore, the prices of the petroleum products has been increased and this will be a great deficit to the arm army. Therefore, the government is proud to announce proud to announce that one nation and our honorable uh, minister honorable prime minister talking about one nation one election one nation one card one nation one grid one nation why don't be one nation one tax why can't petroleum products comes under D gst as we are buying the crude oil at the cheaper prices than before sir and also sir And also, sir, coming to our state. Now, please conclude. And also, sir, coming to our state. Sir, we are there in a crisis. 
We don't even have, uh, uh, we don't even have funds to pay the salaries, sir. We are in a huge crisis, sir. L kindly understand. My honourable, my leader, and our honourable Chief Minister, Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, always says, "Devud Onnadu." God is there and God is great. We, the people of Andhra Pradesh, honour our God, love our people, and defend our country. AP Andhra Pradesh is the mother to our soul, sir. Sir, therefore, I urge upon the Honourable Prime Minister to take care of wounded Andhra Pradesh, sir, by caring, nurturing with love and compassion. I humbly submit, sir, the Honourable Prime Minister, I, hum I humbly submit the Honourable Prime Minister not to see the people of Andhra Pradesh with the prism of Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu. The people of Andhra Pradesh rejected him in the general election of 2019 and the TDP is in deep crisis, sir, ever since the party was established. As you know, sir, Sir, my Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu has landed the state in the deep naam, financial crisis, naam, sir. Naam mat boliye, naam delete kar diye. Naam hata diye ga. Naam mat boliye. But our state, our state mein, in crisis. Naam mat boliye. Aap nae to tar se thik hai bhi. Naam mat boliye. Thik hai. Ho kya diya hum? Sir, therefore, Aap bad jaiye, sir, therefore, hai, with deep respect, YSRCP wants to put the demands on in this noble house. Through you, sir. Okay. Sir, therefore, with the deep respect, YSR Congress Party Shri wants Ram to Mohan sir, sir, sir. I'll give my conclusion, I'll complete, sir. Just one minute. I request I request the Honorable Prime Minister to sanction the special category status without any further delay, sir. And point number two to implement the provisions of Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 with the great spirit, sir. To wipe, point number three, sir, to wipe the deficit budget of sanctioning funds and timely release of funds to the state, sir. Sir, point number four, as the state is really under severe, severe financial crisis, I request the central government to show the big, bro big brother's care to, towards its younger brother, sir. Okay. Therefore, the final point, sir. Therefore, therefore, as the state is having, our Andhra Pradesh state is having 13 districts, sir, I request the Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India to sanction 13 major industries in, the, in this budget, sir. Sir, the All India Medical Sciences to Mangalgiri, which is there in the capital, capital area, sir, the coastal corridor from Vaisak to Chennai, sir, like steel plant in Kadapa, petrochemical industry in Vishakapatanam and Dugirajupatnam port in Nellore, which is promised in the State Reorganization Act, sir, and aqua park in the West Godavari. More than 50% of seafood has been produced in the West Godavari. Last, last, now, please, please. In the East Ramon, Godavari, sir. Ramon Naidu. Sir, finally, I'll conclude, sir. Ramon, I'll conclude. I'll conclude. I'll conclude. Sir, sir, I'll conclude. The last word, sir. Sir, the last word, I'll conclude, sir. Sir, last word, I'll conclude, sir. Last word, I'll conclude. Therefore, I request the NDA government, I request the NDA government, the Honorable Prime Minister has really coined a great slogan, Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas, or Sapka Vishwas. That how come the people of, how come the Honorable Prime Minister can justify when we are left alone, left out, aren't we the integral part of the...